While you can send the same email to multiple classes at one time via the email tool, it is not the recommended process. The main reason this method is not recommended is because the email tool is not tied to a specific class. When a student responds to the email you send, it's difficult to know which course section the student's in. Not many faculty can easily remember which uh, class each student is in. Another reason for not being the recommended process deals with courses not being taken off the server. Over the years, the number of courses in the filter by will grow to a point. It, it may be difficult to remember which course section you're teaching. The recommended process is to send emails via the class list. After you create your message in one class, copy to the clipboard. Then go to your next class, use the class list to start the message, and paste the contents into the body of the message. So if you wanted to use the not recommended process, there is a way to do it. Click on the email icon on the mini bar. And you should note, do not go into one of your classes to get to the email tool. Again, do not go to the, one of your classes to, get, to go to the email tool. Click on go to email. Click on the Compose button. Click on the Address Book button. In the Filter by, choose the first class that you want to choose. And I forgot to mention this, that you need to change the number of students per page, because if you don't, you're not going to get all of your students. Now this you only have to do once. Next time you come into the Address Book, it'll be there. Click the checkbox at the top to select all the students. You may want to uncheck your own name. Click the BCC link that's next to the top checkbox. And the reason you choose the BCC is that each student will not know other students got the email. Now I go up to the filter by and choose my next class. Again, click the top checkbox, uncheck my name, click the BCC. Then click Add Recipients. That'll put all the students in the list here. I now type in my message, my subject. I now type in the body of the message. And I click Send. So once again, I don't know which courses these stu each of these students are in. Now, there is one way to possibly know. If a student replies to your message, you might be able to determine what class they're in. So once you get an email from, the, from your student, like this student I got an email from, I click on the name, this, the, the, uh, the subject, and then you'll see where it says Show Course Offerings. And if this is on, showing already, click on it. If it's already showing, you'll see it. I'll see a list of what says course offerings. Now these are the offerings that this student is in. This is why I'm saying you might be able to because it may be a long list and you may be able to see recognize your course in there to know which course it is from which this student has sent the email. But that may not always be the case. Again, this is not the recommended process. There's a lot of steps involved. If you miss one of the steps, things can go wrong. If you send emails to the wrong class because the filter by message list is very long also things could go wrong. Just doing it class by class while it may seem like it's more work is actually more efficient and then you'll know what which courses each student is sending that email from.